Who got the, mo the most incredible jury collection? Me being real, Gucci. Gucci, Gucci, definitely. Shout out to Gucci, man. You just had a big, super long chains, you know what I'm saying? That's Gucci, man. Gucci, man. He actually was the one that inspired this. Y'all asked for the king of jury, and you got the king. It's Gucci, man, on the rocks. I've been infatuated with jury since a young age. I think I got my first piece when I had to be like six or seven, maybe eight. My father was a cunt, man. He always like trick people out of like money and jewelry. And I'd go to school and I'd be like the only kid that'd have like a necklace. I've been iced out since a little boy. <laughs> like for real. I didn't bring a lot of jewelry today, but I brought some. Really just wanted to show off my new shit. I brought three of my diamond bracelets. Take off Offset and Quavo. These are three Amigos. Everything they do is platinum. All three of these are platinum right here. All uh, 1.5 carats a piece right here, so you know what I'm saying? It's like a quarter million dollars, easily. I got them 1017 chains, all three of them. And they go so hard on the jury, and they push me. When they make something that should be fired, no matter how many chains I got, I be like, damn, I'm gonna come up with another charm. Okay, this bracelet right here is like a, another tennis bracelet, rose gold with charms hanging on it I got made. But then I went back and got the chain made with it. You're looking at another like quarter million dollars. This ain't no play play shit right here. All the shit I wear is like 300, 400, 500, 600,000. No play, no games. Brings us to watches. This is what you call the big dog. This AP right here is valued over a million dollars. I had to get this from a dude who had to go to auction for this in Beijing because I really wanted it. It's a baguette AP from AP. So like a lot of people can't say they got this watch right here. The best jewelry gift I ever given somebody, definitely my wife. I gave her like a crazy wedding ring. And I just bought her a watch the other day, like last week, uh, Piaget, cold. My favorite piece of jewelry was my first ice cream cone, my Bart Simpson, and my new ice cream cone. Like this one right here ran me like 80 grand. Back in the day, we just wanted to have the biggest piece ever, you know what I'm saying? Then it kind of get to be like classy. So I felt like it was a, like a good combination of like the old with the new. You know, I wanted to get like real good diamonds, real good quality, but I still wanted to do like, you know, the ice cream cone that being my, you know, trademark. I just felt like when I got the tattoo, I wanted to be different. You know, I wanted to be unique and I went to like the most extreme measure to do it. I always wanted to have the best tattoos, the best jewelry. I always wanted to have the best interviews. I wanted to have the dopest flies girl, the flies car. When I got in the rap game, that was like what I set out to do. This is my new signature. It's like shoot your shot. You know what I'm saying? If I like something, I always like go up on somebody's page and send this emoji. So Spend down there hundred grand just to let you know I think I think something dope. I got two tennis chains. See mine, I got VVS stones in it and I, and they two carats a piece. All these, like I said, these are my diamond tennis chains. All of them two carats a piece. The cross two carats a piece. So the stones so big and huge, like I separate me from everybody else. You can't even compare them to me. You have to go get like an athlete or an owner of the of a basketball team to compare Jerry with me. Lately, I've been wearing mostly like white and rose gold because I feel like it's just oversaturated with yellow gold right now. Even though I love yellow gold, it looks beautiful on me. I just want to be different. If everybody started wearing white out down there, even though I don't like black, I just wear black. I just don't want to do what everybody else doing. I'm into like having fun, man. I feel like when I go in the studio, I go in there just to talk about balling. You know what I'm saying? I'm in this shit to ball. I ain't in here to be playing. I ain't in it to be depressed. So yeah, I'm gonna be talking about what I'm doing and I'm gonna be flexing. This is my wedding ring. My wife got this for me. I cherish it. It's like the one piece, I don't care if I have on a yellow watch, a white watch, a rose watch, I'm gonna have that wedding ring on. It's so pretty to me, I'm like, I want a matching pinky ring. Then I start thinking about it, I'm like, fuck it, I wanna get a, I wanna get a pinky ring that crush everybody. And that's, that's this right here. This ring right here, $500,000. This one ring. This stone right here is 15 karat just by itself not including the stones around it. I don't want to keep playing games. I see like rappers that have seven, eight rings on. Just get one fucking ring. And then you got my earrings. I just bought some new earrings. I don't even want to speak on them. They set me back so much. I don't even want to tell you how much they cost because you wouldn't believe me and I don't think it's a good thing to even tell people how dumb. I just 
went. <laughs> It's okay to shine, it's okay to reward yourself, it's okay to have fun, and it's okay to help people as well, but the more you have, the more you can help. So keep running your money up and keep shining.